Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are still at the beginning of season 6 and that is my fault because I haven't been uploading as much recently because I just, you know, FIFA 15, it's not that fun anymore, especially when you've got the PES demo, you've got the Call of Duty beta coming out and all that. I've been playing a few different games uh, recently but it's time to crack on with the AC Milan career mode because I do want to finish this season before FIFA 16 uh, comes around so in order to do that we'll have to sim quite a few games and I've I've already taken a look at the calendar and decided I'm gonna sim the general game at home and in the next episode probably the Hellas Verona game as well so in this episode we will play Sassuola away and Anderlecht in the Champions League very interesting uh, to see how we can do in the Champions League and in the Serie A of course we're not top of the league we're currently sitting in sixth so the difficulty has had its impact uh, this increased sliders for the CPU have troubled me at times and uh, hopefully that won't be the case for this simmed game against Genoa. This is a team I'm putting out there very strong. Let's see what kind of result we can get before uh, moving on to the next game. Look at that formation by the way by Genoa. That is ridiculous. 3-4-3 with two attackers on left and, and right mid. Doesn't seem uh, very logical but we're going to skip in 3-2-1. And we get a 2-0 win, but Pogba gets sent off. Rodriguez and are you getting the goals? That's not good, uh, Paul Pogba. I expected better from you. You've been in great form. It's time to head into the uh, away game against Sassuolo. We're now fourth in the league. Three points behind the current league leaders, Fiorentina. And the simple replacement for the uh, suspended Paul Pogba is Sonny Kittel. Other than that, it's pretty much the same team. A very strong team and everyone is in good form. Sassuolo really shouldn't form a problem. Oh no, we've got an injury now, 14 minutes gone, Sonny Kittel has gone down. Is he injury prone? Because I swear that's... Yeah, he is. So that's his second injury of the season, that's not great. Um, we're going to bring on Antoine Griezmann in the cam roll, hopefully he can get the job done. But that's unfortunate because he did have a good start to the game, Sonny Kittel. But it won't last for long because he's been taken out. Well in. By the Silio Lacazette now on the run, trying to keep all of it. Well done, Niang plays him through. Alexander Lacazette, what can he do? Can pass it back into Niang, has to be 1 0. What? How? What? Niang into Yuri Tielemans. Well played. What can Tielemans do? Back into Niang was the idea, but it's are you instead. We've lost it, but Yuri Tielemans has got it on the edge of the area. What's that for a shot, man? We've completely and utterly dominated Sassuolo in that first half. We just couldn't finish the chances we had, and probably the biggest chance fell to him by Niang, but he let us down big time uh, with that open goal miss. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Lacazette as a striker and Niang in right wing. I think he's going to do a better job there, and El Shirawi is a little bit tired, so he's going to come off for Javier Hatabor. The only few changes I'm making, we need to get that goal as soon as possible. Great save, and what a miss. Thank God for that. Sassuolo's first chance of the game, and it could and maybe should have been a goal, but Salvatore Sirigu denies them from close range. And how did he miss that? I guess that evens it up from uh, open goal misses. What can Niang do down the wing? He's got two men chasing him. He's taking it past them well, and by Niang. But to find an option now with them parking the bus is absolutely impossible. Lacazette's on the edge of the area. Back into Niang. Well played. Niang's going to whip one in. Lacazette can't get his head onto that. Tielemans into Ayu. Ayu turns back into Yuri Tielemans. Well played. What can Tielemans do? No one's giving him an option. Lacazette finally does. But it's just impossible to break them now. We've got 10 minutes to go. Look at this, man. This is pathetic. They're playing at home as well. Into Lacazette. This is the one. Oh, my God. Well done by Niang. Niang still going. He's going to whip one in, trying to find Lacazette right there. The keeper comes out and claims it. We've got one minute to go. It's not going to happen. Sassuolo are, without a doubt, the most boring team of the league and just on FIFA in general, I'd say. Whilst Lacazette tries to make something happen by playing it into... Oh, Griezmann, man. You've been absolutely woeful. Out of board. Inside, they open up a bit for him. Had to bore referee, that's a free kick. In a good position, deep in extra time we go and we've got an opportunity right here to do something. Seems impossible to whip it over the wall. So what I'm gonna do instead is have Yuri Tielemans bang it from a short pass or Lacazette, that'll do. Alexandre, no, Nicholas and Kulu. Of course not, he can't score and that's gonna be the end of the game. Yep, there we go. Final whistle. Sassuolo will get what they wanted. Boring cunts. Absolutely boring cunts. I hate them. 
I'll be cheering for their opponents every single week in the hope that they might get relegated in this final season of the career mode. That would make my day if they get relegated because they don't deserve to be in the Serie A after that. Injury news to Sonny Kittel. Let's take a look. Four weeks. Glad to see I paid a lot of money for you, man. Uh, you're doing well. It's not the fucking Premier League, man. You don't have to get injured every two weeks. It's good to see that a lot of players have grown in overall. I'm looking at Rafael Varane, who's going to start against Anderlecht. 87 rated. Griezmann, 90 rated. Niang, 85 rated. All these players have grown uh, fantastically well these past few weeks. So I'm actually going to play Griezmann and put Yuri Tielemans on the bench. Pogba can go to centre mid in the right back slot. We're going to, of course, put the, uh, the Andre Yellen, the American. Other than that, it's going to be my pretty standard side. You know, it, it looks good. Hopefully Anderlecht won't cause too much of an issue. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. Today it's Anderlecht against AC Milan. As you can see this is what our group currently looks like. Anderlecht lost on the first opening day of the Champions League season to Atletico Madrid. No shame in that. We beat Ajax but that was probably one of the toughest wins we had to grind out to get the three points. So I'm not going to underestimate Anderlecht. You know they're at home. It's going to be a tough game. Antoine Griezmann into Paul Pogba, back from his suspension straight away, making his presence known. Griezmann into Ayu, well played. Ayu drives forward with his pace. I'm not going to go down the wing, that's not what I do. El Sharawi gets it. El Sharawi cuts inside. El Sharawi with the chance, straight at the goalkeeper. Lacazette plays it back to Andre Ayu, and he's got no right foot. Good header by Paul Pogba into Niang. Niang's going to spot Griezmann. What can Griezmann do against Chancel and Bemba? Now Newcastle. He's been mugged off, but that's a good challenge. And Griezmann's gone down injured as well. And Griezmann has to come off. He can't continue to play, and that is a massive blow to the team. I'm going to bring on Yuri Tielemans. He can play against his former team. Let's see how he does in the cam spot, but uh, please, no more injuries. We've had enough. Oh, Yuri Tielemans, look at that. Yuri Tielemans against his former team. Yuri Tielemans! Oh, he scored! He actually scored that solo effort. No one was stopping him. I don't know why they weren't putting pressure on him. More than anyone, Anderlecht should know what a danger he can be when he starts running at you. A quick, agile little player with a nice little finish in the bottom corner. We make it 1-0 just past the half-hour mark. Well done by Ricardo Rodriguez. Now we can break. We've got a few people going forward. Yuri Tielemans can spot El Sharawi. That's a good pass. He's going to keep that in. Yes, he is. El Sharawi's going to turn inside. That's too easy. Skips past the challenge into Yuri Tielemans for 2 0. No. It's a great ball. Bastien. Great save. Sirigu. First chance of the game for Anderlecht. Still not gone. Another cross whipped in. Andy Nahar is going to lose it. Danger is gone. We're going into half time, leading 1-0, but it could have been 1-1 right there and then. We're lucky to hold on to this lead. Hopefully we can get the second goal in the second half and uh, wrap this game up. But I think I saw that Ajax were losing 1-0 to Atletico, so it looks like a two-horse race for first spot in the group, which is always interesting to see. Great switch by Ayu into Lacazette. Lacazette nearly skips past and Sakala still going. Lacazette with that pace, well played, Lacazette's going to whip it in, that's a good ball, Niang, oh it's 2-0, great cross, great whip by Alexander Lacazette and it's an easy finish for by Niang to make it 2-0 and we've only just started the second half, this is exactly what I want from my team to go out there and attack them and we have to look at that cross. Yeah, Lynn, that's too easy. That's too easy as well and Kulu, why? That was, that was way too easy from everyone involved. Yedlin and Kula and even Sirigu at his near post should have done better with that. And now Anderlecht is back into the game. That was, oh, that was, that was very poor. Oh, Yuri Tielemans, well done. He read his former teammate and what he wanted to do. Yuri Tielemans, there we go, 3-1. Another mistake by the defence when Yuri Tielemans is involved. He knew exactly what Dundonker was going to do. He read on it, capitalised on it and just finished it off 3-1. That should be game, set and match. Good ball. Lacazette is going to pace away from Nsakala with all the... Yeah, that's that's a foul. <laughs> Why did he do that? I've got no clue. I, I couldn't even get out of my words right, but I, I guess we'll take the pen. Right, you know we have to give this to Yuri Tielemans. Come on, he's not only my best penalty taker stat-wise, he's on a hat-trick. So if he bangs this one in, he'll get the hat-trick against his former side Anderlecht. That would be massive. So Yuri Tielemans against Davy Roof. 
He's going to win it. He's going to go top left. Yuri Tielemann. Zonekeeper gets the right way. But it's 4-1. And that is the hat-trick for Yuri Tielemann's. Griezmann getting injured has been a blessing. I have to say it. Oh, Yuri Tielemans again. He's just absolutely on fire today. He's taking a past everyone. He's going to go all the way. Can he make it four goals? Yuri Tielemans for four. No, it's a good save. Miang. No. Are you someone? Tielemans going down the wing. He's everywhere. He's just absolutely everywhere. Yuri Tielemans passed another one. I probably should pass it. But we're going to go for glory with the Belgian. Maestro himself could have been a penalty. I'm not going to get it. And that is the end of the game. Guys, a tip for you, if a player is playing against his former team, always play him because we've seen what can happen. The damage Yuri Tillemans did today after coming on was absolutely fantastic. 9.7, well-deserved man of the match and we dominated Andalek. And there we have the final results of today's uh, Champions League games. Atletico Madrid did beat Ajax 1-0. Some other interesting results as well. Um, so in our group, it, it's basically us and Atletico Madrid fighting it out for top spot. But that's probably where I'm going to end the episode. In the next episode, we have got Napoli, the sim game against Hellas Verona, and then Udinese. I'm not going to play the internationals to advance a bit quicker. Um, if you want to see the next episode early, if you're still enjoying this, then do support it by leaving a like. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.